Okay, guys, afternoon to this, uh, good afternoon to this afternoon the um, information centre. I'm going to, John and Bushra are going to present this afternoon's um, briefing, and I'm going to hand you straight over to them. Good afternoon to everyone, thank you for attending today's information board. Um, we usually start with the skill matrix. Um, this is basically based on everyone that works at a contact centre on regards to the skills. Um, if there's anything that yourselves are not being trained on or you're not too sure about, please let your team leaders know, your seniors, so that Ben and the rest of the training team can take you forward and, and you know get you better at your services. Uh, next thing is the key performance indicators. Um, this is the most important thing. Um, this is this is to us the stats. This is where we know how we're doing and how we can improve. Okay. Um, as you can see on the week on the week commencing on the 9th of September, uh, we had 16,000 or nearly 17,000 calls. From the week before, we had 17,117 calls. There was a decrease on that, and the reason was is because on the first week of September, education kicked in, and we had a lot of calls in regards to um, people, you know, kids going to school and was behind on education. So that's the reason why we had so many calls coming in, okay? Um, so that's always, that's always a good thing. It means that they've, you know, they've proven and they're doing everything better and dedication, that's in the letters in the correct time. Um, Ron's favorite, <laughs> waiting time. <laughs> that's real weird. Um, last week we had 18, 18 seconds of waiting time. From the week before we had 36 seconds. That means that we actually, we improved. We are doing it within, Still slightly better, I mean, 18 phrases is better, so, and we've answered, we've increased against 96.4, so we've actually, we went over that our target date, so well done to everyone, yeah. well done to everyone. Yeah. we went over our target, which is always good, and Ron loves it, because we do, we we're doing a good job. It means everyone's off my back. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, the top are six smallest requested services, uh, we've got environment, lettings, housing, education, parking, and NCS. Um, the three services that have probably gone up the most will have to be environment, parking and lettings. There's been a lot of changes in those three departments, hence the reason why they've gone a lot of calls. Okay? Um, you know, it's good we're dealing with it, which is always, it's always important. Um, and obviously, bear in mind, please, please, let the customers know use the online services. You have to remember that very clearly, that we're putting a lot of money into these online services and people do need to use it. Okay? And once, once we, people use the internet, we know that this will probably go down a bit, okay? Um, emails, um, obviously Fox is in here, but this is one, this is one of his uh, services. We processed 197 last week, okay? So we, we're up to target at the moment, 93.79%. So we're doing well, you know, we're, we're dealing with all the emails as it comes in, okay? Portals, my sort of thing, this is, this is where I come in. Um, we processed 507, 578, okay, from last week we processed 487, so more coming in, this is, this is what we want to see, we want more coming in and we're dealing with them as it comes, okay, so the target there were 82.3, still good, we're yeah, yeah, absolutely, so perfect, um, so well done to everyone in emails and, and Paul, well done to everyone, okay, okay. <laughs> last thing, um, free visit to the vouchers, uh, this is something done by Karen and George over here, um, they're doing an amazing job, this is something that has come in not long, not long ago and they're dealing with it very well. Okay, we're, we're up to date with everything. We process 131 and the target is 100%. So as you can see, they're doing a, a very wonderful job. Right? Okay. Um, further demand. Um, this is something that we sort of want to... We're still looking at it, but we, we don't really want to run if you yeah. Yeah. I mean the failure of demand is what we're really looking at here is why are people having to call us back. So the reason why we need to monitor that yeah. quite closely is where we can identify a service that's causing people to call, call back continually, continually, we can actually start talking to that service about ways of them improving it to make sure that we can reduce the amount of callbacks to customers. We want to deal with people having to ring once and we deal with the inquiries at that, that, that point in time, that first point of contact, rather than have to change things up. Yeah? Well, um, something that's very important to the uh, information board is uh, concerns and ideas. This is something that, as you're all aware, if there's anything that you want to add and you, and you want to make a difference to the concert centre, please, you know, write your ideas. Ron and the team leaders and the seniors will look at it. If it's something that they can do, they will do it, okay? Um, so this is just, obviously, we, we have some ideas there and concerns that at the moment I've been looked into. Uh, things like TV in the, in the kitchen, you know? Oh, yes. We're waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's happening. <laughs> we're dealing with that moment, so we're doing, we're doing all right. 
Um, yeah, so that's basically... Yeah, most important one, yeah. yeah, so as you know, this is, this is something that will bring the whole team together because this is something that we can point ideas and something that will make improve the service of the contact centre, okay? And um, last but not least, Plowitz. Uh, Joan, Miriam, Bushra and Dorothy, well done for the Plowitz last week. I will now pass on to the lovely Bushra, who will deal with information. Hi, um, in regards to the payments, please be reminded all payments should be going through to the automated line, um, online or paid by, with the exception of nationality checking service, prepaid, referees bags, FPN payments, all other payments should be going through to automated line or web services such as council tax rents can also set up direct debit and standing orders. Failure demand for those of you who have been chosen to defay the demand sheets, please ensure you complete and hand it every day. Staff lockers, we are still working on, um, sorry, we are working to issue officers with lockers so that personal effects can be stored away at the end of the shift. Information board meeting, we would like you to ensure um, to continue participation of the team as such. We would like to once again invite you all to submit your inspirational thoughts for the week. Please submit under subject heading four of the week to CS contact centre yeah, team leaders and senior well. officers. Okay, um, a couple of other points. Um, permits online. If customers either call or visit customer service centres and advise they cannot renew the permits online, in the first instance, please check Synergy to see if the permit has been an auto renewal. If yes, then they will not be able to renew online as a permit will be sent directly to them. <coughs> Environment. I have confirmed with David Humphreys that all services in public realm are up to date, so this is your target. Um, also, would like to congratulate Ben Lobby and Nazir Alvarez for the new role. Okay. If in regards to lettings, if customers change the address um, or any change of circumstances, um, they, once they've notified us, they would not be contacted until October 2013, where they'll be able to go online and update um, online to make them changes themselves. Um, if you're a new council tenant and wish to add or remove any household members, you need to speak to your compliance officer first. This is because your housing application will have to reflect people on your tenancy. Okay, application on the online register. If your inquiry is about your new application which you complete online, we are in the process of working through these inquiries and you should expect an up to date within the next six to eight weeks. So any customers inquiring about the they've made a new application, advise them six to eight weeks, um, they will get a they, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will write to them but they can check the status uh, online on my new um, a right of review, if your application is closed, we are getting a lot of calls at the moment in reference to this. Um, you will either, you either they're out of time or the review uh, decision was upheld, they will be not responding to any letters. If the application has passed as a home seeker, you are unable to bid for properties which are advertised for priority home seeker. This is because you are adequately housed as you have enough bedrooms for your household in your current home. You will be eligible for bid for property which are advertised for home seekers, but at the moment they are restricted to properties for over 55 years and sheltered schemes. Just to say that um, all the information from the from today's briefing will be on the board, so if you haven't caught all of it, you can actually go back and read it and find out exactly what, what went on today. Just the final thing for me is, I haven't been in the concert as much as I'd like to have been in the last couple of weeks because I've been working on restructures. One of the things I would say is, we've, had, we've taken on parking online, we've taken on registrars, and we've taken on elections. The last couple of weeks could have been really a difficult period, but you guys have worked so hard and made it really smooth. Well done for your hard work. Keep up the commitment. Thank you guys.